Welcome home, friends. I hope you're blessed and doing well because I'm doing great. I want to share with you my process of making our beautiful scented soy wax candles while I'm sowing my seeds and having an enjoyable evening at home. So let's jump into it. I like to clean our votives before I get started just to make sure everything is nice and clean and prepped. So that's what I'm doing here and I'm prepping my votives for my warning labels and for my stickers to adhere the wicks. So I'm just going to go ahead and prep all my votives now and get them ready for the wicks. So now that I have all of my votives prepped and ready, it is time to adhere the wicks. And I use an all cotton wick for my candles so that I can ensure a clean and non-toxic burn. So we use an all natural soy wax for our candles so that there are no toxins released in the air and you can get a really clean burn. Our candles have a really nice hot throw and the fragrance that comes from them is absolutely beautiful. Goodness, it smells so good. So the candles that I'm making right now is Georgia Peach and I love this scent. It is absolutely delightful. I enjoy watching the candles and our wax melts solidify. So we will have wax melts available in all different types of shapes and colors and things like that. So you'll really enjoy them. So I like to take these clothespins here and I just use these to keep my wicks standing straight up so that they don't lean to the side. We even have candles available in travel size and they're good for like smaller spaces as well. I was really happy to see that some of my seeds had germinated and I'm looking forward to really getting growing this season guys and I really like to just have a really chill and relaxed evening at home. I'll light my candles, I might have just a small glass of wine and just really unwind and enjoy the evening while I'm sowing my seeds. So when I'm making my seed starter mix I like to use a combination of peat moss, seed starter mix and perlite so I'll just give all of that a good mix and mix it up together and I'll go ahead and just disperse that into my seed starting trays I like to pack them pretty tight and I'm using a moistened seed starting mix so I've added water to this mix as well I hope you all have been staying safe and well. While we're in quarantine, this is a really good time for you to try to de-stress as much as possible, even in the midst of such a terrible pandemic. seeds are so so small I can hardly feel the seed all right so all right this is moistened soil soil seeds they are so tiny they don't even have to really be right on the surface of the soil so 
barely making a dent into it. Just barely. I'm gonna sow some soil seeds. They're so tiny you can sow more than one seed per cell. This is so small. I hope they didn't get anyone else. I'm gonna do this whole row here. Just barely, not even barely a fourth of an inch. Barely, barely. For the seeds, and that's it. This is what the seed looks like. Long, so I usually just break it and then I'll put it inside. Alright, so that's the sorrel sown and now we're going to go ahead and do the cauliflower. And I'm planting seeds that germinate around the same time. I'm gonna do the exact same thing, planting just a fourth of an inch of the in the seed tray, not really burying the seed too deep at all. It's right underneath the surface of the soil here. So now that I'm all done with the cauliflower, I'm going to go ahead and sow my cabbage now. Even though we all are going through such a terrible pandemic um, as the coronavirus, I hope you all stay safe and stay well. Um, I pray for your well-being and for your families. So try to stay encouraged, friends. And that's it guys, that's how I make our beautiful scented soy wax candles and how I use them while I'm sowing my seeds. Just relaxing and having a really enjoyable evening at home. So let me know in the comment section down below, what's your favorite scented candle? I would love to know so that I can stock it in our store. So keep your notifications on all so you'll know when I upload a video and click the subscribe button if you're new. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye.